So lambda, verse and prose, grade five, theory. Pauses is one thing you're gonna have to remember. So remember this word, recess. R-E-C-E-S-S. -S -S. This is the anagram of all the pauses you have to know for the lambda exam. R, rhythmical. E, emphatic. C, sensorial. E, emotional. S, sense. S, suspensory. So the first one, rhythmical. A rhythmical pause comes at the end of a line or a stanza and it indicates the shape or the form of the poem on the page. For example, the cat sat on a mat. The cat was very fat. The fat cat sat on a mat. So those pauses come at the very ends of the lines to show that that's how the poem is written on the page. E, emphatic. This is when a pause comes either before or after a word or before and after in order to emphasize it. For example, now he said, watch. Caesural pause. This pause comes mid line. It would normally be represented with punctuation. The arched stone bridge is an eye with underlid in the water. In its lens, dip crinkled heads with hats. So the caesural pause in that one came on the full stop. E, emotional. This is a pause that comes about because of the workings of emotion. Be careful not to go too far with this. Just a slight pause, similar to the emphatic pause, it helps to emphasize the word that is emotional. For example, in the Noughts and Crosses reading, even in this light, I could tell something was wrong. My arms dropped to my sides. Callum. A sense pause comes at the end of a sense group. We'll talk about sense groups in just a moment. A suspensory pause. A suspensory pause appears where there is on Jambamon and there is a held pitch which continues onto the sense of the following line. For example, from Mirage. And rejoice to see the lustrous sheet of water on the horizon there. And rejoice to see the lustrous sheet of water on the horizon there. So you see there's just a little hold moment, almost like jumping off a cliff and holding before the fall. It's always where the sense carries on onto the next line. So a suspensory pause always comes where there is on jambamon. So, phrasing. What is a sense group? A sense group is very simply a collection of words that together makes sense. For example, in the pond in the park, all things are doubled. Long buildings hang and wriggle gently. Now in that example, there are three sense groups, three groups of words that you can break down and singularly they would make sense. In the pond, in the park, makes sense on its own. All things are doubled, makes sense. Long buildings hang and wriggle gently. That makes sense on its own. And that is a sense group. So a sense pause will come at the end of each sense group. In the pond, in the park, all things are doubled. Long buildings hang and wriggle gently. A breath group is very simply a number of sense groups that you can say together in one breath. So basically, how much can you say on one breath or how much makes sense to say on one breath? That becomes your breath group. So the same piece of text would sound like this as a breath group. In the pond, in the park, all things are doubled. Long buildings hang and wriggle gently. Normally, sense groups and breath groups are very, very similar. But sometimes you might have two, three, or even four sense groups within one breath group. Parenthesis. Now, when I say parenthesis, I think this. Parenthesis. And the reason I do this is because I always try to think of it in brackets. Parenthesis is information that is inserted into a sentence that adds detail, but isn't necessary to make sense of the overall sentence. 
So for example, I might say, I walked slowly to the car, having been to the gym for several hours that morning, and drove away. So if I take out the bit about the gym, the sentence would still make sense. I walked slowly to the car and drove away. So the parenthesis is the additional information that's been inserted. I walked slowly to the car, having been to the gym for several hours this morning, and drove away. Now the last thing to talk about is on Jombamon. On Jombamon occurs when at the end of the written line there is no ending punctuation, so there's no full stop, question mark or exclamation mark, which means it's very likely that the sense will carry on through into the next line. So for example, in the pond, in the park, all things are doubled. Long buildings hang and wriggle gently. In the elephant child, it reads, and now, under an African moon he stands. So the sense carries through from one into the other, there's no punctuation. And now, under an African moon he stands, as opposed to and now. Under an African moon he stands. That would be completely separating the sense. So that's on Jombamon, when the sense carries through to the next line. On Jombamon. Okay, so you need to remember recess. Rhythmical, emphatic, sensorial, emotional, sense, suspensory. You need to remember sense groups, breath groups, parenthesis, and enjambement. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, then please feel free to message me, and best of luck.